Good morning on the moon. Welcome back to the crust. Hope we're having a great day today. Full transparency. This is the second time I'm trying to record this episode. Uh, I made a... I think it's really stupid, and I hope that they change this to allow cancellation. I'm going to walk through what happened in my first attempt. Uh, just spell out exactly what happened and also why I'm redoing it. Uh, because not my fault, as far as my opinion goes, this is not my fault. Uh, but I felt like it really screwed me over. So um, I'll share that with you as we go. Uh, first thing, though, which has nothing to do with that. I just finished this contract coming out here. And we are now limited. If you uh, saw the second half of the last video, we're very much limited now with compute. Our CPU is... Uh, our capacity is way up. Now, there's two things you can do when your capacity is bad. Uh, one is to be more efficient. And that means breaking down inefficient things and replacing them with better things like I'm doing with the solar panels. We're going to do the same thing with the batteries, but I need the big batteries research done. And wouldn't you know it, I go to fundamental and I go to fuel factory. Well, after this completed, this is now available. And this is definitely more attainable. I look at the, the values and how much science we need. Certainly more attainable than this is. This is very expensive. So we're going to put the battery at the top of the list. And we're going to start pushing as much science as we can into the big battery instead. Once we get that done, we can then take these batteries out uh, periodically over time. We can start switching these batteries out and replacing them with the bigger ones. The bigger ones can hold five times the have five times the capacity, also have five times the output capacity. And, uh, so they're worth five of these things, but their compute is the equivalent of three of these things. So in other words, you, you, you get five out away, you get the same stuff, but now you, you get back two compute powers and that, and that makes sense to everybody. I think, uh, okay. One thing we want to do is we want to, we want to do as many contracts as we can. We need as much money as possible, but we need to make sure that these contracts are like lift off right from the pad. We need to make sure that that's happening. There is one that we are probably not going to be able to do. And that's this one. It requires 400 units of fuel. If I was to buy 400 units of fuel, it's, it's prohibitively expensive to do this. We can technically get away with it, but it's actually better for me to cancel this. This is not why I'm redoing it though. All right. I, this is just another thing I discovered while we were trying this, but this is something that I, I do want to kind of bring up so that you are, you guys are aware of this when you get the game. Okay. Hopefully this video publishes before the game releases. I, I think it might be very close. If you start this contract and you start to send the resources with an expedition. Okay. So if I say send resources, it's going to suck me out. It's going to bring me over here. This is the, the Bosch experiment over here. If I select this cargo truck. Okay. And I say expedition settings, fill it up, whatever. Uh, whether I click this button or not, I, I think back to base simply means that the I actually don't know this because I haven't actually gotten far enough to test it yet. But I think what this means is after you make the delivery, come back to base. I think that's what that means, but I don't know that. Regardless, if I hit this button right now, this truck is on its way to the laser with all this good, all these goodies, right? It will stop right now and come back to base to start this which means it didn't make its delivery, okay? If I wait until the delivery and then hit this button, it will come back and start the thing, which is great. That's what you want it to do. Here's the problem though, okay? And this is ultimately why the the thing is you know not done. I went ahead and I made the delivery to the laser and all that stuff. And I, I got through this various different thing. And I'm actually going to set up modular frames, which is what I'm going to do anyway today. Um, but the thing that screws me over here is if I go to send the resources and start this thing, the truck's gonna pull in this station. It's got aluminum, it can deliver the components, but we can't deliver the fuel. And we will not be able to deliver fuel in time. We just simply won't be able to do it. The problem is if you cancel the contract after you've started the expedition, you can't cancel the expedition. They're gonna continue to load this building whether you want them to or not. The only way to get out of it is to freaking delete the building. And I don't know if this is going to change whatever, or maybe I had a bug, but it won't let me delete this building while there's a truck inside it. <laughs> okay. So I effectively had a situation where they're going to constantly be delivering here, wasting my time on the laser. 
I can't get the truck out because it's stuck in here trying to load fuel. I can't delete the building. I can't cancel the expedition. I can't reassign the truck to a new expedition. I can't buy another truck and put that in here to start loading that for the expedition because there's already one in there. You see what I'm saying? It, it locked me. So what I'm really hoping these guys do is add a cancel button for expeditions because there's no cancellation for expeditions. As far as I can tell, there's no way to do it. Now, there's cancel task. That's on the map and that's fine. But when this thing is inside that building, this doesn't exist. <laughs> there's no way to do it as far as I can tell. Maybe it's there and I missed it, but it locked me. And I had like 100 days go by and I was like, I, I can't do anything with this thing. Uh, so... Yeah, if you start the expedition, you have to finish it. And if you cancel the contract, you're stuck in that expedition anyway. They're going to keep loading the truck. And the truck's going to try to drive off to a location that doesn't exist. So, yeah. Long story short, this thing is probably not possible to do. I want to show you why. So, we have fuel here. Well, I, before we show you why, um, it, I guess it's possible. If we really rush it, it might be possible. Here, here's what I want to do to try this out. Uh, since it is daytime now, right? Yeah. Let's turn this back on. I want to turn all my stuff back on. Um, and then we're going to do that too. Uh, I want to go and do uh, this, turn this stuff back on, turn it back on, turn it back on. Uh, we want to do also this. I want to have a storage here. And yeah, I'm, I'm going with a little bit of hindsight on what I'm doing right now. All right, I get it, but that's why I'm being transparent with you. That's why I'm telling you I've already done this before. Uh, so we're going like that. And then I want to build uh, that pretty quickly too. So we have drillers that are drilling into the wall over here. And what these drillers are doing is kind of moving us to where the wall is going to be. And this is going to go all the way against this wall. And it's going to come on over here. I'm not going to build this yet because I don't need it. Um, but it's, I guess I'll do this part. But it's going to go all the way along this wall, go underneath this, right alongside of this wall. And it's going to go into this side of the conveyor elevator. And that conveyor elevator will take it up. Before these driller bots decide to check out, though, I want them to grab, I want them to basically take this part out. So like this. Yeah. And then I want to also remove this little bit here, too. So the drillers have something to do. OK, so go ahead, drillers. Do things. OK. Secondly, I hope they also add the ability to bring resources close to this building without the truck being in there. If I assign an expedition, okay, to, to this building, if I assign an expedition, the truck has to be in there before the drones will bring any resources to it. I find that to be stupid. We should be able to bring resources to this location independent of the truck's presence. But this building has no internal storage for that. There really should be some kind of internal storage for this. Um, I would even argue we could go infinite on that, but there's a way to get around that kind of, and that's with storage, these general storage bins. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to place a few general storage. Uh, we're going to place them, uh, about like this, I think one, two, and three, just three general storages that are out front of this thing. And that way, as the drones are doing their business and they're getting new supplies or whatever, they will periodically go ahead and, and fill these things up. And so when it comes time to do an expedition, we will have a variety of resources here to do that. It's not great, but that's the only thing I can think of doing here. Later on, maybe we'll have everything coming up to the surface and we'll have conveyor belts going on the, intern, uh, the internal side here, but it's just not feasible to really do that uh, because expeditions change, the resources that you need change. And so to have exactly what you need going in and conveyor about all the time is uh, not really, it's not really possible. Okay. Anyway, so I want uh, contracts and I, I don't think we can do this one. So I'm actually going to back out of this one. The penalty for that is just $20,000. So we're just going to cancel that one. Uh, this one has an infinite timer and Mal we have a good relationship with Malakut anyway. So it's not like I'm burning any bridges or anything there. What do you want? Slag? You want a thousand slag? You're not giving me any money. It's just research. It's, it's six, 60 research. Nah. Uh, 100 silicon, we can do this. It's research. This is better. Yeah, 60 for 10 days is better than this. We'll do this one because I need the research anyway. So let's go ahead and yeah, send resources for this. We don't get paid anything, but we have the resources now, so... 
That's fine. When we get a contract, we want to make sure, unless of course the truck's not busy, but we want to make sure that we're going off on a rocket, okay? Uh, so I need to make sure that whenever I see one of these tasks, it doesn't say show location. As long as it's just accept and back, we're good, all right? It needs to go off world, in other words. This one's not bad. We could do this. It's a lot of silicon to load for that much money. I think there's probably a better usage of our time somewhere in here. Um, although I'm struggling to figure out where that would be. Maybe, uh, maybe this one. Do I have enough of this? No. It's close, but what I'm really looking for is like a really solid contract. I wish I was making more fuel and I'm noticing that a lot. There's a lot of contracts that have, that have wanted fuel in the past. Um, they, they seem to spawn up wanting things that I don't have. Like this one would be pretty easy to fulfill. Should we, uh, you know, want to do it. Uh, this one here would have been nice to do too. A hundred research for that as well as this much money, which is really great. And then modular frames. These are worth a lot too. So I have 150 K it's probably not enough to do the things I want to do, but I want to set up modular frames as well. Um, I also want to set up the production for using to actually use the rare mineral stuff too, the rare earth mineral stuff. So there's a couple of industries, a couple of things I want you to do. In addition to breaking down stuff that's not as efficient and replacing it with bigger stuff that is more, the other way, of course, to do things is just to add more compute power. And so that's why I've got, where is it? Right here, the CPU data centers. Now these are going to cost me 10 power. I'm going to put four of them in here, actually. They're going to cost me 10 power a piece. But what they do, right, is provide me with 10 CPU capacity. And that means I can double my fuel process, my fuel generators. I can double this. So I definitely want to get that going too. So this area over here has been opened up so that I can add another fuel refinery because I want to make more fuel. Of course, I need to compute in order to be able to, to do that. So we need to do that first. Uh, the fuel factory is right here. It takes one compute power, power. So I can actually do this right now. And we want this to be probably, I think right here would be okay. Yeah, I think right here would be fine. Uh, that pole's right in the way, though. So let's go one over so the pole's not in the way. Like that. Okay, so what we'll do with this is the conveyor for ice is going to come up and over like this. And it's going to go this way and then out that side. Okay. So ice goes like this. And then the aluminum is going to cut out this way and go there, too. So basically, we're splitting that supply of aluminum which is nice. We're also going to temporarily go ahead and close down that. So we have just this much aluminum and all the aluminum is now going to get redirected this way. So we can make more fuel because I mean, we're not really waiting for it here, but having a fuel refinery upgrade would be great too. And I'm, I'm sure those exist. Uh, the next thing to do is to add another smelter. And I believe this will do it for my compute. I won't be able to add anything else until I get that CPU capacity up. So um, we're going to go with the smelting furnace right here. There we go. Contract completed. Very nice. Let's go ahead and put this over and then in, and then you are going to go up and over and that's good. Okay. And now we just need to add power. So there and also right there. Okay. On this side, we want this to come out and then we're going to go underneath as a given. All right. And then we want a storage to be located here. And then we're going to go out and over into there. And now I have basically a mirror image. This, not quite a mirror image, but close, right? This is lined up. And then we have two more fuel generators right here getting fed from this separate source. And then the ice is doing the, what the ice does. Eventually, we will upgrade the ice extractors so that it kicks out more ice. Right now, we don't need that. Right. We actually need the fuel refineries to be better, but this at least doubles our capacity for fuel. And what this is also doing is it's going to give us a dedicated supply of fuel that we can use to uh, sell or, or trade because we're not actually burning it yet. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, raise the priority on this building to get that started. And we'll also to get this started here, too. We're trying to restore this station to reestablish communication with the region. This is SCT Limited. Ah, okay. This is that, that company that that third party wanted us to deliver equipment to. Uh, after the disaster, 
Unknown individuals visited this place and stripped all the equipment. We didn't anticipate this, and the materials we have won't be enough for repairs. Uh-huh. If you assist us with supplying radio equipment and send drones, we'll pay well. So, that third party stole these guys' equipment, tried to get us to go and install it again. Why would they do that? help them with repairs absolutely oh yeah we're gl glad you decided to help and i can report the intruders or stay silent wow you know what i'm gonna report it those third parties probably will be pissed at me though and maybe i'll be attacked i wonder if there's a retaliation i gotta tell them hmm report disturbing news however we are grateful for it and we'll conduct an internal review of personnel and equipment those thank guys you guys were probably involved in wiretapping the decision to report this to the corporation was the right one. Otherwise, the entire blame could have been put on us. Yeah, I think that was the consequence. Do the shady shit and uh, get sued. <laughs> like, I can't prove it wasn't me because I had the equipment, right? But these other these other people, they told us to do it. Uh-huh, sure. Where's your evidence? I put the footage in there for this because it was fresh and I just learned it, right? It was like, it was fresh and I didn't want to like go through this no already knowing the results so at least i wanted to show you what it was like to, to find out in the first time so we are going to go to reporting the d intruders to the corporation yes and then uh they'll say it's very interesting over now those guys were probably involved in wiretapping the decision to report this to the corporation was the right one otherwise the entire blame could have been put on us exactly they were trying to frame us uh all right so uh i'm going to have all of these things done. Now we're missing the aluminum on all of them, but pretty much everything else is going to get delivered for these things. And we, again, we want this compute. So let's at least make these prioritized. Now these things are a little bit expensive because they require microprocessors, not just micro circuits. And we don't have the ability to make the microprocessors just yet. We technically could do it. Okay. Because we were making these, we could technically make our own microprocessors too but I need to get moving now and I don't have any capacity right now. So, uh, without the batteries and being able to swap them out, I don't, I don't have the ability to do it. So what I'd like to do, uh, is we're just going to go to the market and, uh, and buy a few of them. All right. So we're going to buy microprocessors. There were 3000 a piece. Um, we're going to buy three of them for now. And then we'll make the fourth for the, the last data. So ah, maybe we'll make the you know what? We'll, we'll buy two of them. All right. We're also going to buy a couple modular frames. You know what? No, we can make our own. We can make our own. Never mind. Um, maybe the modular terminal. No, I really don't think we need to buy anything else. I just hate, I hate this thousand fixed cost and then only buying two tons of stuff. I guess it's 40 tons of stuff, isn't it? Maybe we'll buy a bunch of fuel. We'll fill it up with fuel instead. That'll that'll be how we fill this cargo up because we're going to need the fuel for trade and stuff anyway. So two microprocessors and then a bunch of fuel. We'll go ahead and buy that. Okay. And then that goes right down here. So two of these things are going to get completed. And I want to make sure it's the two that already have the other resources delivered. Although I don't think it'll matter because eventually they're going to deliver the resources for all of them. So yeah, at some point they're just going to do it. So we'll say that's a low priority. We'll say that's a low priority. And then they should be delivering them to these two units here because these two are the only ones that are higher priority now. So now we should get that going. Uh, the next thing is, of course, I want to have more aluminum. So I think temporarily oh, we have a bunch right here. What? Come on now, take them out of here. We have a bunch right there. I don't have to do anything there. Uh, and then you are going to be aluminum production and then you're automatically upgraded because I know you're going to need that. I also think I should probably upgrade. I already did that. Okay. Uh, everything else is good. I think so. This is going to be steel. And that's just an extra storage for steel so that we don't have everything laying around waiting. Okay. So from this point, assuming we get this done, you know, the compute units, as soon as we get this done, yep, there we go. The CPU data center, we can now begin to produce uh modular frames ourselves okay is what i want to get working on right now um so for starters let's go ahead and get rid of the driller bots because they don't have anything to do modular frames is over here i'm just going to do it the same way i did it the first time so it's consistent with my original plan I'll, although i wanted to make a couple modifications to it but i i think it's i think it's okay the way it was is fine um we're gonna go with modular 
it's assembler we want it the assembler so the assembler has a thing I, i'd like them to change this because I, I don't think this is quite user friendly if i click this it always shows the carbon nanotubes or the car carbon fiber it, it shows the formula for carbon nan nanotubes by default right there doesn't seem to be a way to cycle the formula here so for example for for modular frames i i require the titanium plates and the concrete to produce them the problem is placing this unit before i position it i don't know which resource is on which side because i don't have the right formula so if i place this down here the only way to figure that out is to just put a conveyor up to it and i have to I actually have to pick the formula first so modular frames is what i want so if i put this up to it now i get to see where it is and right you can see that it's backwards it's not the direct direction i need and so now i need to dismantle this and i need to uh go back and try again with the assembler uh, but this time again same formula shown this time i need to flip it I wouldn't really know that we know which side's going to be concrete, which side's going to be this. So I wish there was a hotkey uh, to just uh, toggle formula, right? Something really simple like the G key or something like allow me or the F key even for formula. You just allow me to uh, toggle the formula right now. F does nothing. So that would be a perfect thing, actually, just formula. Right. And that way I could get a good, accurate representation of like what's going to be there. That's my opinion on it, though okay so i think i'm gonna set this back we got this right here and i want to push this i think from here all the way to about here i think so right up against this is probably fine um it just means the concrete has to go further but otherwise the plate has to go further but the plates are going to go up top anyway so maybe that's actually for the best maybe we do it like this let's say that you go here Let's say you go here. I, I have no idea where I placed it last time, honestly, but I'm going to try this here or one more over one more over one more over. Okay. So from there, let's double check. We got the right, the right sides on this. We're going to go modular frames. All right. We have the right sides now. So titanium comes in on this side. Concrete comes in on this side. Easy. So from here, we want to go out and then in easy. And then the titanium is going to go out and it's going to line up with this so it's going to end up being right here okay and same thing again we go underneath and back in and then we go like so and then out and then in like so that's what we need to create our own modular frames and every single thing that this machine creates saves me 2400 bucks 3000 bucks i mean it's it's a great it's a great thing we want this machine to be uh, operational for sure i'm not going to put any storage for these i don't think we're ever going to have 32 modular frames in in stock anyway because we're going to be making these things as as often as we can to get everything to the surface so if the, for the for the near future we're going to be spending modular frames and so i'm not going to worry about storage for them yet but we still have all of this room which is going to be occupied mostly by these two machines right we're going to have two more of them right here and then another one here two more of them right here eventually so that's not really like it's uh wasting space but you know we're still gonna have like this little bit of space for other things and so we'll need to look at you know what we're gonna make there and one of the things to make which we're gonna do in this space is the stuff that goes with the uh the rare earth metal stuff and that's in this assembler it's the dural lumen or whatever the heck it's called uh which again i can't see the formula properly because it's doing this uh but I believe we need for this. Oh, what is it? It's titanium. No, it's aluminum. Yeah, aluminum and rare. So actually you can do it on this side. It's probably better to do it here because the aluminum's over here and then the rare earth can go, I guess maybe uh, we can actually bring it out of this, I guess. There's not a space, right? How does this work? Let me, let me see how this works. Can I? yeah it's kind of like the in-betweens so i guess i could always take it i can't do here but i could do it here like right before it goes into storage and then it gets deviated out that way that's that's fine we could do that i'll do that later though it's 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 unimportant more important right now is contracts so let's find one that we can that we can do right now because i can't do just this one here i need i need a better one here although i get a big a decent bonus if i do this right now but now this has an infinite timeline so we're just gonna wait 
Uh, okay, so you want what? 300 aluminum. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Carbon nanotubes. Yeah, I kind of shop around a little bit. You got to find things that'll like this. This one, Iron Man, Urgent, Titanium Plates. 70,000 for just 85 plates, but it says I only have 18. I probably only have 18 because I made a boo-boo. And I let, yep, I let this thing open. Let's close it down. And then I want to go like this, like this, like this, and like this. I don't want that many, I don't want that much titanium uh, to go there. We're going to change the priority on this to all the way up. And then the drone settings are being, have been told to bring it here. So the drones should be getting the titanium and bringing this and putting it in here so that I have it in stock. But I, I believe though, I could probably satisfy this requirement. I think I could anyway, the Iron Man one. So there's 85. Now I said I have 65. I think we can do this one in 15 days. So I'm going to accept this contract and get that party started. There we go. So that's going to come down and we'll get that going. All right. We have 224 on our CPU capacity. It's very good. How close are we to 1.7 days? 95% done. Okay. Apparently there's fuel in here. Cool. Uh, we probably could just leave it there because I bet we'll probably have a contract in the future that wants fuel. Speaking of which, let's find that. Uh, this one's a good one too. 65. I like this one, 65, we get 81K if we deliver it in seven days. This is silicon and components. Yeah, I think we can deliver this one. I have two days to accept this though. So let's give these guys time to bring the plates so that they can kind of build up as much as they can here. And then they can probably pretty much just focus on this. I don't even know if that's needed. I don't need them to take time with that, do I? No, ooh, this one's cool. Another Iron Man thing. I have this. I have close to this. 195 is great. But I think this one is still pretty easy to get because it's, yeah, this is a really easy one. We're going to accept this now. That's fine. I think they can do it now. So we'll go like this and we'll go like this and we'll say go. So they're going to land on this pad and then all of our drones will just do that. Okay. Okay. Now it says our battery output is insufficient. It says we're only 440 and we need 503. That's going to get better as we upgrade our batteries but we also i mean that's the battery output but we have this which adds to the output i would assume so we should be fine because we're producing 180 power over what that output capacity is so we should be fine i don't know why that's is why that's warning me that but large batteries is done so we can start doing that now too well once they're done delivering this stuff they can do that i want them to focus on this too the truck is done delivering to the laser. So we need to bring that truck back to base. Uh, we also have this Rover here, which is uh, done with Cascade five and figuring all that stuff out. We can send this to kind of anywhere else we want. And I like the solar energy thing. Maybe we could view contract. Oh, never mind. That's 1200 silicon. Forget that communication station. A lot of these contracts are very expensive. Like, I don't know how people make this much stuff and still do the the laser i feel like the laser <laughs> is going to take a lot of resources if that's how much they want for just the first stage right but i mean they give you 1300 more days right now but it's 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 we're not close <laughs> we need to go faster like look at these contracts they're insane i can't do these um we just need to we need to scale up a little bit faster don't we i don't i just don't think we're making enough stuff we need to go faster that contract lifting off maybe we can yeah uh maybe this belt needs to be upgraded this is all stalled out you need to be i need level two, level three on this i need another one is what i need right we need to scale up to to another one i think so yeah we just need a lot more pro uh, a lot more stuff coming out more concrete more everything i just need more of everything uh okay let's think this let's think about this for a little bit for the silicon you can do this obviously to process more of that that comes in 
Uh, I have only a hundred and I only have a hundred thousand, so I don't have a whole lot of money. We're getting a decent fuel supply now. We can start looking at this for for energy. Um, we have all these things. We can start tearing this down. We just we just lifted off of that, so that's even more money. Now we're at one eighty five. So let's start looking at. Uh, the contract. Uh, let's look at the battery. Sorry. So let's go ahead and salvage these. And then to get our battery on, why don't we go like this? Tear these down. Get rid of these. I know it's a little early in the night. Like we're kind of, I'm kind of like robbing my own discharge capacity right now, you know? But I think, I think we're still fine. It's, this is 24 days now. So we're still fine. Um, you know, these batteries are going to be gone in the morning anyway. So it's not like I need to preserve the charge they have just as long as we don't run out of power by the end of the night is fine. Now the large batteries are, you know, significantly larger. So they're right here. So, um, I want to put it kind of in line here. So I kind of want it to be yeah, right there is good. So let's have it be on this row as far over as we can go. So one two and you know what i should probably flip that let's let's flip that so that the antenna's on this side yeah so it'll go one two all right and then we'll go three four flip this over five six can't do that really it won't let me do that interesting okay um can i do this I can. You'll let me do this though. Just not there. I'll take it. You can go there and then here, I guess. It's interesting. It looks different. You know, I'm, I'm okay with looking different. It's fine. Um, we'll put this right next to right next to this like that. There'll be another point where you can connect this up to. Uh, all right. So for now, let's keep this on its own little thing. We're going to go like this and then go here, here, here here and here and we can redraw these lines later but we want to have all of these made so that they are ready to go for the morning okay there we go uh the truck it's coming back truck is on its way back i don't know what this rover can do right now for me honestly so why don't i just have you move into this general area and we'll do random scans to find something i think that seems good we could also build the repeater that would help us with finding things too i think right Provides communication with lunar orbital satellites necessary to communicate with other facilities and for transportation navigation. So, yeah, we can we can build one of these. Uh, I'm not sure why it won't let me. Is it compute? It is. It's compute. We're, we're maxed out compute right now. 222. Because I, I deleted like seven batteries and then I added the large ones. So I'm dramatically increasing how much we can hold by doing this. But I, I didn't also save any compute. So after these are built, we'll start deleting them from this side and then replacing them on this side as, until we kind of get there. So, but I do need to, and you need to, to hold up on the compute here really quick. Uh, this doesn't have power. Let's give it power. I want you to go, you know, honestly, to get, to get the, th this stuff running, I, I think I kind of need to, no, I, I wanna I wanna redo the belt system in this so that I can have like four of these next to each other kind of thing. Um for now though, I guess I'll place this here. Should be okay here. And then this will kind of connect there. So let's have that be prioritized as well. I know, when everything's prioritized, nothing is, right? That's how it goes. And then to get these data centers, we'll just make our own microprocessors. The microprocessors is again the assembler um and as i get these batteries built i will like i said i will start deleting these and that will free up the compute from those and uh man how much do you have to <laughs> they have so much to do that is more bad admittedly I, i'm i'm now in no, i'm not replaying anything now that's that's as far as i got before just trying things out but uh, because I was so preoccupied with the last the last attempt, I was so preoccupied with this thing, and just trying to figure out how to get it to work, and it was frustrating. And I don't like showing you guys me being frustrated. I don't I don't like showing that kind of stuff. Um, we also want, I guess, up here, 
we're going to go uh, here. And then I want this to be staggered when it's done because we're making modular frames right now. So when this is done, I want this to be staggered so that I can at least work with it, like getting underneath the belts and stuff. So um, and I guess I could do that anyway, but I don't want it to get in each other's way because there's a tendency for these things like they'll overlap. So I just kind of want them to be out of each other's way. So I'm going to do it like this. We're going to say from here and we're going to put it right here. All right, and this will be storage for iron, uh, steel. Yeah, and then this just kind of goes, nope, not like that. This goes from here to here. Build all. All right, so when this is done, right, just needs the modular frames that we're going to build, and then, then we're done. Good with that. What's up, urgent contract? You caught me at a good time because I don't have a whole lot to do. I get a 75% bonus if I deliver this in 25 days, and I have this carbon fiber already. I will accept this contract because that's carbon fiber. I came with a bunch of carbon fiber. It's great. Where is that contract? Right here. Yep. Uh, send resources. Oh, it's on the map again. Gee, I got to stop falling for that. <laughs> I really got to stop falling for that. Cargo truck expedition right here. Uh, it's on its way back. At least I'm, you know, not disrupting anything there. But I did want to send more resources to the freaking laser gun. And now I can't do that until this is done unless I buy another truck. This money would be great. This payout here for delivering these carbon fi this carbon fiber is about what I need, though, to, to do that. So we're going to have that queued up. All right. So Expedition Center, get ready. Right. But the thing is, even if I turn this on right now, they will not bring resources here until the truck is parked there. And I really wish they would start bringing it sooner, right? Which is why I'm putting these out here, because then they can have like various different things, like the microcircuits are sitting here, right? There's some carbon fiber sitting here, that kind of thing. So then if they do need to load a truck with like 10 microcircuits, they've got nine of them right here already. So, you know, that's a benefit. That's a plus. And uh, I mean, I would love to have more drones. That'd be fantastic, but they're just, they're, they're so damn expensive. Um, you know, 96K for a couple a couple robots is... That's a, it's pricey. 98k now. Yeah, 98k for a couple robots. It's just ugh. No thank you. So, I mean, I will buy them, but I want to be a little bit better off before I do. I want this to Yeah, just a little bit better before I do. Um I think we can afford another one, right? That's just the loading into the truck. Can we do something before the truck arrives, I wonder? Is there anything I can find? before the truck arrives. Something that's somewhat easy to do. Um, this one, if I have them, I have 46 of them. God, that's a lot of money. I would really like to have that many. I might buy the difference. Yeah, in 30 days, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll, I'll, whatever the difference is, I can buy that. Go. That's 195,000 for, I'm already halfway there on those resources. We, we need this to be working faster. So all of this to the plates though, it's like the plates are important for the modular frames, but, uh, I think we're all right. We already have three built here. I think we'll be okay. Well, let's temporarily temporarily we're going to lock that down so we're going to send the aluminum out to components for a little while uh and then you're actually flooded oh yeah you are this is excellent news uh as long as i have compute which i do for smelters yeah so this is excellent news uh i want to go now i need to make make sure there's enough room for more iron because i probably will need another iron one right here but the plan was always to put this here. So that is something I will do. We'll put that right here. And then you will split out and go that way with that. And then you will go up and go that way with that. Sweet. And then we want that to be titanium. Rush order, please. And we have the cash to do so. I probably should. So we'll go ahead and speed it up as well. And then let's get it connected to power like so. 
that's going to be really nice to have. Obviously, it has to come out this way and then go back the other way, but that's fine. It's, uh, we're just waiting for this, right? I got to wait for these components to come in, but I, again, I can always buy the, the balance, whatever it takes. So 46. So to get the balance, I need what? 29 is my, my math is good there, right? 29. How many will, how much would it cost me to buy 29 of those? 29 is going to run me almost 50 grand. God, I'm giving up a lot there, aren't I? We have 30 days, right? There's still time. I don't need to rush it. So, you know, but if it gets close to the, the time limit, then absolutely. We drop a pod down here. We buy the difference and we get that bonus because that's a 70. Is that what he says? 75% bonus? No, it's not a 75% bonus for this one. It was a, it was a bonus for the other one. I thought, well, it's still a pretty good, it's probably still a pretty good payday. So. We definitely want that. Okay. Um, let's get the fuel factory upgrade. That's going to be great for more fuel. I don't really need this trader license, to be honest. Although having another contract. Yeah, upping our contract limit is pretty good. But I would rather have the fuel right now. And then uh, drone excavation speed, projector. Don't thank you. I need one more thing on my list here. Components factory upgrade only matters if I'm actually putting enough titanium in there for it to matter. Which I'm not yet. Uh, I think I probably need this upgrade in order to get to Mark IV belt. So, because it that seems to be the pattern right now is Mark II, then the underground, then the belt, then the underground, then the belt, then the underground. Probably so. Um, micro circuit factory upgrade. Eh, we're not gonna have enough resources for that just yet, though. I need to scale faster. I I agree. If anyone's like he needs to make more, I I, mm, I know it's just money. Okay. It's it's money. It's you got to have money to do that. Maybe you didn't take the maybe you took the initial payday <laughs> or maybe you're just better at the game than I am. I never claim to be like good at the games I play. I just I just claim to have fun at them. I, I just want to have fun. That's I want to be known as the guy who always has fun playing the games he plays. And that's it. As soon as they're not fun, I stop playing them. And my God, is this fun?